Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I'm here today with set number 38432. This is the Kinex Super Mario Series 4 collectible figures in mystery packs. Um, as you can see, I've already opened mine up, but this is ages 6 and up, one of seven figures to collect. Um, these are released in 2014, and they retail for approximately $4.00. So let's take a look at today's figure, which you've already seen by the title. You can see he's still wrapped up, so you can see this is how it looks when you open it for the first time in the package. It has a small tissue paper wrapped around the, all the pieces. It keeps them very close and also keeps them discreet from the package. Sometimes you get to see through the package. And we have the Green Toad. A very easy to assemble figure. And kind of an easy one to, to find. This figure and the bob -omb are two of the most common figures that I've found in all different types of packages for Super Mario Series 4. Um, it's very easy to recognize these. And as far as the green toad, here's a look at his little leaflet. Basically shows how to assemble him and shows on the bottom all the other figures. Let's get that into focus. All seven of them in the series. Nothing really special on the back. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can see the leaflet through the package. And usually around this section or anywhere that it's white. Sometimes through here, you can see part of the package through it. So here we have Toad. Let me just get him onto the stand and get a better look. So here we have a closer look at the green Toad. Now, I can't remem really remember any specific times where this green version is included, but he is the same version as previous ones. We'll do a better comparison of them in just a little bit. I usually, you know, <laughs> didn't try to impersonate Toad well, but I hope your ears can take it. Hello! Alright, that was really bad. I need to work on that. I used to do it really good. Alright. So... There's a look at him all the way around. You can see he's got green on the top of him, green on his torso. The pants, pretty much plain. And now we'll compare him to some of the previous versions. The red one, which obviously is the, the typical version of Toad that we've seen in other games. And the yellow version, which I think has become popular with, I think it was the Super Mario... Brothers Wii version, if I'm correct on that. Let me know in the comments where each of these toads came from, except for the red one. There's a look at them on the back. And again, on the front. Now, the only differences I can really see between these, other than the colors of them, are the faces. Now, the faces are actually slightly different between each version of Toad, this one it has most of the eyes like separated, they're small, and the, the the kind of mouth of the cheeks is far down on his face. The one in the middle seems to have larger eyes, and the all seems to be closer together to one another. And the one on the right, um, even a little bit larger eyes than the other ones, but it also still has the part of the mouth drooping down, while still giving that smile with the cheeks. So, there is a little bit of variation between these, other than just the color of them, which I think is kind of interesting. It makes it a little bit more diverse for these characters. It's actually nice to collect these just to build up a Mario-type uh, world. And these are compatible with LEGO pieces, even though they are made from Kinex. Um, in terms of standing on LEGO structures, you're already seeing the example of it. They're standing on a LEGO-made turntable. Um, in terms of holding things in their hands, it's not compatible with LEGO. But I'm sure that there are plenty of Kinex items that they can still use. Now, in terms of building these, they are exactly the same. They have the pin on the body, on the torso, and not on the head. In terms of finding them in the packages, um, the really simple thing you have to look for is either the head or the torso. Not, not the torso. The head or the legs. The legs are a distinct guaranteed way that you'll find it out. Um, with 
the current series of Series 4, it may be a little bit difficult to figure out which one has the round head, you know, because there are a couple characters that have, have roundish heads, like Yoshi, or what are the other ones? Sorry, wrong series, not Yoshi. Um, other kind of rounded figures, um, Toad, bob -omb, although there is a distinct difference of size between them, but if you try to find the small legs, that's pretty much your best way of figuring out the characters. Um, once you get used to these characters, you'll figure it out pretty easily. The green toad is very common, so I don't think it's a big trouble to find him, but it's a nice little addition to a Mario collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments between all three versions of Toad released so far. Um, which ones do you like? Do you like that there are multiple versions of Toad in different colors as they show up in the games? Oh, I also forgot to mention, it seems like this yellow Toad has a little bit um, difference in torso. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time with more Connect Set reviews. Do one more spin. Yeah, I still need to work on that. Sorry to pierce your ears.